Hi and welcome to North Ants War Gamers on the Road. My name's Barry and today we're at Fanboy 3 in Manchester for the final in the UK City Championship for Age of Sigmar Champions. It's between John Paul Golightly on the right and Dominic Elston on the left in a Mordant Quick Quest mirror match. So we have for John Paul Golightly we have two Monstrous Haunter Courtiers and two Crypt Haunter Courtiers. And for Dominic we have two Monstrous Haunter Courtiers and two Crypt Haunter Courtiers. So just going to see this layout throughout the match. So Dom's going first, he's passed twice. JP's go. Dominic switched to Haribo to Beef Jerky. So we'll see how that helps him out. So Curse Strike coming out, three damage. Monstrous Haunter Courtier has done its first quest. Are we going to see a unit to follow up with? So he's going to pass, so it's on to Dom. So we have a fearsome crit flare coming out. So Dom's just trying to slow down the um, that monstrous haunted courtier that started to quest for JP. And passes for a card. So JP's go. We have a Frightful Strike coming out. That's three damage. No cards have to be discarded by Dom. Follows up with a Fearsome Crit Flare. So JP is going to try and stop any of Dom's healing. If he decides to put a unit out. Two damage from that Fearsome Crit Flare underneath the glare. Follows up with a fuel to the grave tide, so he's going to put the um, fearsome crit, crit flare of JP's in the bin in the discard pile. He's just got to put three different units himself into the discard pile. So we're going to see Thorns of the Briar Queen going in there, that's for sure. So murderous Vargeist, feasting Vargeist. There we go, Thorns of the Briar Queen. So he's going to heal for five of Barrow's Will. So he gets one from Barrow's Will itself and one for every other card that goes into the discard pile. So he's back to 34. JP's go. So we've got a Curse Strike coming in. Three damage. One quest left to go on that monstrous haunted courtier at the top, and we're going to see it. So, Scrabbling Horror, and we get Expansive Girt. So, all of Dom's champions are now dormant, and one damage from that Scrabbling Horror. Two damage in return from that Fearsome Crypt Flayer. Have we got a Vigor Necris? He's got it on top. There we go, he's thinking about it. Dom passes twice. So one damage from Scrabbling Horror. JP passes, so it's over to Dom. Fearsome Crypt Flare leaves play. His champions are still dormant, so whatever he plays, he's not going to hit any quests. So we've got a Tyler's Crypt Flare coming out. He passes. So JP's go. Three damage from that Scrabbling Horror. Expanse Gur will leave play next turn. So 
So he's got a Devourer, Fuel Grave Tide, and a Freakish Crypt Horror. Which he lays the Freakish Crypt Horror. First quest done on that Crypt Haunter Courtier on lane three. And passes. Doms go, two damage from that tireless crit flare. So as long as JP can carry on hitting his uh, quest, he'll get more of an advantage. I think both players at the minute are probably playing with Royal Hunt. So it's whoever draws that quest is going to be absolutely useless. Don passes twice. So Freakish Crypt Horror deals one damage and heals one. Second quest done on that Crypt Haunter Courtier in lane three. Feasting Vargeist going in, one more health. So he's going to hit that second quest next turn. Unless Dom does something about it. Three damage from that tireless Crypt Flayer. Now Dom can start questing. Fuel the Grave Tide. So he's got to put another three units in. So tireless Crypt Flayer. Uh, ravenous Crypt Ghoul. And a feast in Vargeist goes. So he's got plenty of Vigor Necris targets. So he hasn't got another Barrow's Oil in his hand to get himself another 5 health. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, he's going to follow up by Murder Murderous Vargeist. 2 damage. Second quest done on that Monstrous Haunt of Courtier. Now Dom's spinning again. So nothing, Scrabbling Horror leaves play, Freakish Crypt Horror does nothing this turn. And then we have a Fearsome Crypt Flare going in, second quest done on that Monstrous Haunter Courtier on lane two. So, possible Vigor Necris he's thinking about if he's looking through his discard pile. Fuel the Grave Tide it is. That monstrous, murderous Vargeist will be going. So Thorn's going in the pile, discard pile. It's a Tireless and a Freakish Crypt Horror. So Dom's going to have to come up with another way to hit the uh, quest, third quest on that monstrous Haunted Courtier on lane one. Okay, Dom's go. So Scrabbling Horror, what does he get? Expansive Girth, so now all JP's champions are now dormant. Does one damage. Feasting Vargeist going in, heals one. First quest done on that Crypt Haunter Courtier. So two damage from the Fearsome Crypt Flayer. Two damage from the Freakish Crypt horror and then two health back devour gets rid of that feast in vargeist jp gets to take a unit out of his discard pile put him back in his deck so i think jp's running a few more um removals than dom dom doesn't usually run devours in his deck I think the difference is a Dom has Burrow's Will, where JP has Devour. So that Fearsome Crypt Horror is keeping the, um, oh, sorry, Fearsome Crypt Flare is keeping that um, Scrabbling Horror dormant for Dom in lane three. Dom's passing twice. Two damage from Fearsome Crypt Flare. 
So Dom really needs to try and get some advantage back by playing cards while the champions are dormant. One turn left on this expansive Gur. We've got a frightful strike going in for three. Second quest, the uh, third quest done, and then the fourth quest completed by the ravenous Crypt Ghoul, and we have Royal Hunt. So absolutely useless in this matchup. So Dom's lost the advantage there by pulling the Dud Blessing. And then draws a card. I don't know why he drew a card. He played a Frightful Strike and a Ravenous Crypt Ghoul, so he shouldn't have drawn a card. JP's drawing. Dom's go. So Expansiger is over. One damage from the Ravenous Crypt Ghoul. And one damage from that Scrabbling Horror under the glare. So we've got a Feast of Souls going in. So heals for two. Doesn't get any secondary effect apart from doing the quest on that Crypt Haunter Courtier in lane four. So Vigor Necris going in. So possibly Thorns of the Briar Queen. That's always a favourite to come out. There we go. Thorns of the Briar Queen. So that's going to deal five damage. One quest left to go on that Crypt Haunter Courtier. So it's JP's go. So we've got Feasting Vargeist going out. One health back. Second quest done on this Crypt Haunter Courtier. So JP passes. Draws a card. Dom's go. So Ravenous Crypt Ghoul is going to do two and three damage from Scrabbling Horror. Then we've got another Scrabbling Horror going into play which reveals Orb of Immortality and then deals one damage. So nice little series of play from Dom there. One health back from the Feast in Vargeist. JP really needs to get some of these guys questing now. Mini, 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 mo. Curse strike. There we go. So uh, three damage. I don't think he's going to spiral. He's going to rotate this scrabbling horror forward or back. But we follow up with. No, we don't follow up with that. We follow up with a tireless crypt flare and get turmoil of soul. So four damage to Dom, and he's got to put two cards into his deck. The only two cards he had in his hand. Dom's go. So three damage from Ravenous Crypt Ghoul and one damage from that Scrubbing Horror that went in. Draws two. So we've got two damage from Tyler's Crypt Flare and then two cards from the Feast in Vargeist. So JP's coming back. Still quite even. Just needs a damage, a damage in the unit for this Crypt Haunter Courtier. So we've got a Feasting Vargeist going in. One health back. And then Devour to put a unit back in his hand. Or, oh, sorry, put a unit back in his deck. So is he going for a fearsome crypt flyer? Slow Dom down a bit. Mm -hmm. 
So you just need to be careful when you're going through your discard pile that you don't um, rearrange the order of the cards that are in there. So we've got a fearsome crit flare coming out and then draws a card. Everything rotates round. Three damage from Tyler's crit flare and one health back from the feast in Vargeist. So one health in it between the two players. JP passes. Two damage from Fierce and Crit Flare. Feast of Vargeist at the top is now dormant. So Murderous Vargeist going in. Two damage. And passes. JP's go. Tyler's Crit Flare goes away. Feast in Vargeist is dormant. So we're doing any meeny miny mo again. We've got Frightful Strike, there we go. Three damage. Puts Dom down to seven. We're gonna see a unit. Pop this blessing. Yes we are. Tyler's Crypt Flare. What do we get? We get supernatural horror. So all of Dom's units are now dormant. He's Dom's go. So unless he's got some units, got some events in his hand, he's drawing. There we go. Passes twice. It's over to JP. Okay, so Feasting Vargas is going to draw two cards, two damage from the Tyler Script Flayer. That supernatural horror should have spun. Thank you. Five, five health left. Normally we see Vigor Necris, Thorns of the Briar Queen to finish someone off. So JP's having a long think about it. There we go, Vigor Necris. Discards a card, which was another Vigor. Thorns of the Briar Queen. There we go, five damage in total. Orb of Immortality pops back up to seven. So, JP's got to start again. But at least he's got thinking time, thanks to um, Supernatural Horror being out. So, Scrabbling Horror does one damage. Prevents Dom's champions from triggering. It's Dom's go. So JP is going to do four damage next turn. So we have Barrow's Will, gives him one health back, puts him up to seven. And then draws one, so it's JP's go. So Scrabbling Horror is going to do one, Tyler's Crypt Flare is going to do three. I bet, I bet JP wishes he didn't dis... Oh, he had the third Vigor Necris in his hand. There we go. Thorns of the Briar Queen comes out. Five damage to Dom. That is game one. Well done, JP. So Dom has got a lot to do to bring himself back. And here we have game two. So we've got the same setup. 
It's the only way they're set up. So two monstrous horn to courtiers followed by two crypt horn to courtiers for JP. And exactly the same for Dom. So both players would have taken out Royal Hunt out of their blessing lineup, as this is as that blessing was absolutely useless this time round. So both players start on max health, and Dom passes and draws over to JP. So we've got a Vigor Necris going down, discards the Fearsome Crit Flayer, drops it back into play and rotates it for two damage. Two quests done on that Monstrous Horn to Courtier. So we have a Vigor Necris going in for Dom and a Fearsome Crit Flayer, two damage. And Dom has completed two quests on his Monstrous Horn to Courtier. So we did say at the beginning it was a mirror match. How much further will they um, match each other play for play? So JP's go, two damage from that Fearsome Crypt Flayer. Third quest done, a Monstrous Horde to Courtier. And then we have Fuel the Grave Tide going in. So, so they won't be copying each other anymore. So Thorns of the Briar Queen's gone in the bin. Tireless Crypt Flayer. And something. Probably a freakish Crypt Ghoul. He did that last time. having trouble finding it. Oh, we've got a Scrabbling Horror going in this time. JP passes, it's over to Dom. So we have a Tyler's Crypt Flayer going in and then draws a card. That fearsome Crypt Flayer of JP's leaves play. Will he unleash this blessing? Yes, with a freakish Crypt Horror and we get Morbid Terror. So when he deploys a unit, he'll be dealing damage and Dom will be shuffling the card back into his deck. So Tyler's Crypt Flayer does two damage. Third quest done on Monstrous Horn to Courtier in lane two. So that freakish Crypt's horror for um, JP would have been better served in the uh, in the Crypt Horn to Courtier lane. But probably hasn't got a different. Mordant in his hand, so one damage to Dom and one health back for JP. And we've got a feast in Vargeist going in, two damage because of the deployment. And then he's got to shuffle one of his cards back into his deck. Morbid Terror spins around, feast in Vargeist, then heals for one. So three damage from the fearsome crypt flyer. Is he going to do fuel the grave tide to get rid of this feast in Vargeist? Just try and slow um, JP down a little bit. So there we go, Fuel the Grave Tides, this Feast in Vargeist is going. 
So we're going to have a Ravenous Crypt Ghoul, a Thorns of the Bride Queen. And I don't know what that is. Probably a Scrabbling Horror. Dom's just checking if that fearsome crit flare went into the pile this time. So it looks like a Barrow's Wheel. So four cards are going in. I'm going to see a Barrow's Wheel there. So healing for five. So it's JP's go. Mikey's just trying to fix my GoPro because it's just run out of power. Freakish Crypt Horror. Spins, does nothing. So JP passes, draws two cards onto Dom. Tyler's Crypt Flare leaves play. Murderous Vargas goes in, two damage, second quest done on the Monstrous Haunted Courtier on lane one. Dom draws a card, so it is now JP's go. So two damage from the Freakish Crypt Horror and then two health back. Follows up with the Feasting Vargas, heals one. And two damage from Morbid Terror and shuffles a card back into his deck. So with that morbid terror, probably JP's got turmoil of souls in his blessing lineup too. So he's got um, he's going for car control as well. So he's passing and drawing two. So Murderous Vargas then deals two. Third quest done on Monstrous Haunted Courtier. So we've had a bit of a camera malfunction. So just to catch you up, we've had a Vigor Necris played with a Fearsome Crypt Flayer by um, Dom. And that's revealed Bonds of Death. So Dom is going to be f counting the cards in his discard pile. I'm trying to fill that up so he gets maximum damage from Bonds of Death in a couple of turns time. JP follows up with a Vigor Necris. He's got a discard a card. Are we going to get Briar Queen out? 20 minutes left in the so 20 minutes left in the game has been um, called by Dave. So we've got a Fearsome Crit Flare going in. One damage from Morbid Terror. Just got to shuffle a card back. Dom's got two cards at the minute. So Dom's just counting up the um, damage from Bonds of Death, deciding on which card to put in. And then two damage from that fearsome crit flare because Vekinet Chris rotates the unit after it's in, put into play. So five units in the bin. So it'll be seven units in the bin plus the four. So we've got 11 damage when Bonds of Death go off.
So we've got Devourer going in. JP gets to recycle a card from his discard pile back into his deck. So as it stands at the minute, we have 10 damage from Bonds of Death when that goes off. One damage from Murderous Fargeist. Bonds of Death ticks ever closer. So Dom's going to pass twice over to JP. So two damage from Fearsome Crit Flayer, one health back from the Feasting Vargeist. Looks like he's got a pair of um, Cursed Strikes in his hand. Draws two cards, Dom's go. So, Bonds of Death, 11 damage. So, the maximum you can get is 14 with that with that blessing. Feasting Vargeist goes into play, heals for one. Fearsome Crit Flayers leave play. JP's going to draw two cards from the Feasting Vargeist. So we're going to see the blessing on lane one for JP. Just needs to drop a Mordant onto that and we shall see it. So we've got a Fearsome Crit Flare. Let's see that. It's Turmoil of Souls. Four damage to Dom and he's got to put two cards into his deck. So JP's got lots of card pressure. So he's got Expansive Girl and Supernatural Horror to come from those two other blessings. And draws a card. So Dom's go. Hills for one with Feasting Vargeist. And passes twice. So two damage from Fearsome Crit Flower. So Bond to Death definitely brought um, Dom back into it. But he's not putting a lot of pressure on to um, JP at the minute. Fifteen minutes left has just been called. And they're still on game two. So we've got a Frightful Strike going in, 3 damage. Tireless Crit Flare goes in, what do we get? We get Expansive Gur. So all of Dom's champions are now dormant. So Feasting Vargeis is going to draw 2 cards. He needs to fill up his hand thanks to all those card discards that um, JP hit him with when he got those blessings. <laughs> got a feast in Vargas going in. Heals for one and draws one. JP's go. So Fearsome Crit Flayer does two damage. Tireless Crit Flayer does two damage. Expansive Gur rotates. So we've got Feasting Vargeist going out for JP. <laughs> and 
and then draws for one. So it is Dom's go. So he'll swim through feasting Vargeist. His other one flies off. So we've got a fearsome crit flare coming out. It's going to try and stop. Well, no, it's not going to try and stop any questing because that champion's had his blessing. So three damage from Fear tireless crit flare, one health back from uh, feasting Vargeist. Feast of Souls comes out, two damage, and that Feast in Vargeist goes back in Dom's hand. So Dom's just checking on the um, on out of time rules. JP draws a card, two damage from that Fierce and Crypt Flare. So the rules are for when you run out of time, when you complete your 60 minutes, both players have three turns in which um, they, at the end of it, Whoever's on the least health loses the game. So we've got a ravenous Crip Ghoul coming out for Feasting Vargeist, then draws two cards for JP. Okay, so Dom can start questing again. Got two more quests to go, and then um, JP will reveal his supernatural horror. So Frightful Strike, three damage, one more quest to go. So we're probably going to see that um, next turn. JP follows up with a curse strike for three damage, puts Dom on six. So Dom's champions will not trigger this turn. So one damage from Ravenous Crypt Ghoul, two damage from that Fearsome Crypt Flayer. One quest left to go for this um, Crypt Haunt Courtier on lane three. But we see this quest and it is Cursed Altar, one damage to um, JP. And then follows up with the Feasting Vargeis to heal himself up. So Dom's got good protection from Cursed Altar, so that's going to reduce all damage by three. He gets to do that four times. Does every lane. So Freakish Crypt Ghoul, and we get Supernatural Horror. So all of Dom's units are now dormant for three turns. So can JP finish Dom off and then uh, claim this championship? He's going to draw a card. I'm sure he's looking for a Vigor Necris to do the Vigor Thorns of the Briar Queen finisher that the uh, Mordant Quick Questers all like to use. One damage, but that's cancelled by um, Cursed Altar. JP still gets to heal one though. So JP's really got to get some units down just to ping through this, um, ping through some damage and get rid of this called Cursed Altar or Scrabbling Horror. That does rend damage, so the um, Cursed Altar will have no effect on that damage. So JP's drawing for two. So if it goes to time on this game and Dom wins it, both players will have a game will have a game win each, but JP will win because he won the first game. So Dom's go. So all he can do is draw two. So JP's go, one turn left on Supernatural Horror, nothing from that freakish Crypt Horror. So he's 
so JP is looking to see how many vigors he's used. So we've got a Vigor Necris going in. Discards a Feasting Vargeist. Are we going to see Thorns of the Briar Queen? No. So he's gone for the Ren damage option. So one damage. And then one damage again because of Vigor Necris. So he's got to do more than three damage. Needs to ping one through. Unless he's got another Scrabbling Horror in his hand. Which he has. So, another Ren damage. So, JP will win it next turn. So, two damage from Monstrous Horn to Courtier. Or not. And then two health back from the Crypt Horn to Courtier's. So JP's got to have a bit, another bit of a think. He needs to get rid of this cursed altar. So we have curse strike going in, three damage puts JP down to ten. So he's decided to rotate that scrabbling horror back round. So he's going to get the benefit of the crypt haunters next turn. Stops that big three ren damage from hitting through. And then Barrow's Will, so he's going to heal for two, because Curse Strike was also used this turn, so he's back up to seven. Supernatural Horror is gone. Two Ren damage. And then the two damage from that Freakish Crypt Horror will be absorbed by the Cursed Altar, but JP will heal for two. So... He's got to do two lots of normal damage. He's got two cursed strikes in his hand, but they're a bit of a waste. So, cursed strike goes in. Cursed altar will plop round once more. And then he will take two damage through rotating the Crypt Ghouls. Or, so, sorry, Fearsome Crypt Flayers back. So JP does not want Dom to get the, that last quest off from that Crypt Haunter Courtier on lane three. So it's Dom's go. So two damage from the Monstrous Haunter Courtiers. One health back from Crypt Haunter Courtiers. Everything rotates. Five damage from the units in play, one health back. So JP is down to three. Curse strike. So there we go. Dom takes game two. Well done, Dom. Did not look good there until Cursed Altar came out. So we are on to game three. Not much time left. So the guys are set up. You know the setup by now. It's two monstrous haunted courtiers followed by two crypt haunted courtiers. Okay, JP has passed. It's on to Dom. So time is against them. So we've got a Vigor Necris going into play. Discards the Fearsome Crypt Flayer to bring it into play. Rotates, does two damage. Two quests done on that monstrous Haunter Courtier. So a bit of a dream start again from Dom. Has JP got that as well? No, he's got Fuel the Grave Tide. So Fearsome Crypt Flayer is going in the discard pile. And we've got Thorns of the Briar Queen, Freakish Crypt Horror, and potentially Tireless Crypt Flayer going in. <laughs> no, we've got Feasting Vargeist. So we time against them. JP's deciding that he doesn't want healing cards. He wants to keep his damage cards. Or damage units, I should say. So 
So we've got a feasting Vargas going in. So one health back. Dom's go. One minute left in the game before we go to sudden death. So we've got Fuel the Grave Tide. So that feasting Vargeist can go to the discard pile. And we've got Murderous Vargeist. We're going to have a Bat Swarm. And Thorns of the Briar Queen going in for Dom. Follows up with Crypt Shield Black Knight. So he's got some damage prevention. So yeah, not the greatest place for it as it's only going to do two lanes instead of the three. Oop, someone's playing with the focus. So, Curse Strike goes in. Three damage to Dom. So, Sudden Death is on. This counts as JP's first go. Fierce and Crypt Flare goes in. Second quest done on that monstrous Haunter Courtier. So that sh um, Shield Black Knights do nothing. They're still preventing one damage from these two lanes. We've got a Feasting Vargeist going in for healing for one. Draws a card. So JP's turn two. Two damage. So JP is winning at the minute. So we've got a Devourer going in on that Feast in Vargeist. Puts a card back into his, his deck. Not going to see it though. Uh, JP draws. So Dom's second go. Two damage. One quest left to go for the monstrous Haunter Courtier. So Dom's got two cards. He's got four actions left that he can take. JP has got two actions left. JP's up by one. So Frightful Strike does three damage. One quest left to go on Monstrous Horn to Courtier in lane two. Follows up with a Tireless Crypt Flare. What do we get? We get Supernatural Horror. So that's it. Dom wins. Well done, Dom. So, Dom is the city champion of Manchester. And we shall see you for Milton Keynes City Championships. So, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.